Now, uh, Mrs. Brad, well, Mrs. Okay. Brad. Okay, now Brad. for a love story. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It in our, uh, normally in our living room and has, uh, since we first got married 32 years ago. This is uh, Priscilla Alden, but her name was Priscilla Mullins. She came over on the Mayflower with her mom and dad and brother, and her everyone in her family died. She was maybe about 16. And this is John Alden, and he worked for Miles Standish, the captain. He was a, a helper of Miles, and Miles, Captain Standish, had lost his wife also. So he cast his eyes on the beautiful Priscilla Mullins. Um, but John, he was a holy hot pilgrim. Young and good looking, not middle aged like Miles. So Priscilla was really had her eye on John. But as the custom was, Miles decided to send John to Priscilla to ask for her hand in marriage. Whoa. And so he, uh, John went and asked Priscilla, and Priscilla said, why don't you ask for yourself, John? Because she wanted to marry him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, John was really worried about oh, uh, hurting his friend, his boss and friend, Miles Standish. And Miles was pretty upset about it when he found out and he went off and killed Indians to let out his frustration. But eventually, John and Priscilla did get married. And uh, according to Longfellow's poem, and he was a, a descendant of John and Priscilla, on the wedding day, they were getting married, and Miles Standish came back and was standing at the door. But he wasn't mad anymore. Then it ended up that their daughter, Sarah, married Miles Standish's, Miles Standish's son. So all their descendants, which, uh, you know, they have hundreds of descendants, because I think they had about 11 children. All their descendants really are related not their children, but their grandchildren and great-grandchildren would be related. Um, great-grandchildren, I guess, would be related to both Miles and John. So that's the last the, story. The, 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 they're looking out the Mayflowers getting ready to sail. I think they've been sort of the picture. Yeah. Out there, see that. And yeah, I remember no one was back. And there's we no also have some dishes with these, this picture and pictures of the Mayflower and at used to the history of the pilgrims was much more of a big deal and brother Chad's mother got them I think in detergent the dishes came in de boxes of detergent by the detergent but you can see them up in our dining room I even have some cookies on from today that's the story okay. uh, just what is a pilgrim <laughs> you know, just go ahead and say it. <laughs> okay, all right. We open it up to the audience. What is a pilgrim? Someone that leaves their country to start something new somewhere else. Yeah, pilgrimage. And, uh, uh, on a journey, and uh, usually for religious purposes. Pilgrim. Nice. <laughs> okay, uh, who wrote a uh, Plymouth Plantation? That I read. Who was the author of what I read? The Plymouth Foundation. You know, Harry. The first governor. Who was he pre pretending to be? No. Okay, open it up. William Bradford. All right, Bradford. <laughs> Justina. That's for the Adam baby. All right. Uh, <laughs> where does the Pilgrim story begin? When they sailed to a new land? What country did they start in, the pilgrims? 
England. Okay. Ta -da. Ta -da. Oh. Why did the pilgrims leave England? They wanted to see a new world? No. Not really. Try again. What was what was going on in England to them that they didn't like? We talked about it this morning. <laughs> okay, all right, open up the audience. They're being persecuted. Persecuted. For what? Their For religious beliefs. And all right. All right. Uh, <laughs> where did the pilgrims go after England? What country? Dun, dun, dun. All right. Holland. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so greedy. Cyrus. <laughs> All right. You better get this one now. <laughs> what is the ship that they took from England to America? The name Mayflower. of the the Mayflower. The Mayflower. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> From what uh, a port uh, did they sail? Oh, no, I was just trying to remember. I was, no, I was just, I saw uh, Sister Bell? Well, that's, no, no I meant from England. Oh, England. Oh. Uh, London. Plymouth. Plymouth. Oh, yeah, yeah it was yeah. the same name. Yeah. Keep the dollar. I'll take all right. How many passengers were on the Mayflower? Oh, one hundred and two. Okay. Well, I thought it was like one hundred thirty-four oh, with the sailors. Hold on. What about with the sailors, including the crew? Well, yeah, they're people too. I mean. <laughs> Wait. So then, why is it one hundred and two? Well, those, those are, are passengers, passengers not the sailors. Sailors aren't people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was the name of the baby boy that was born on the Mayflower on the voyage? Oh. Okay. Uh, well, Oceana. it was like uh, Bone Oceana. <laughs> Oceana. 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 What was the last That's name? That's your good enough for Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, she got can it. I get a, give me Maybe she will get one of them. So <laughs> right. I'll give you half. I need the last one. It wasn't Oceana. It was Oceanus. Oh, That's good. It's another one. Just say it. It's another one. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Where did the pilgrims land first? You mean when they got to America? Well, when they got to America. You know that, Chrissy Iris, you told me mm. last night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the mm -hmm. initial landing from the audience. Cape Cod. Cape Cod. Oh, wait, right. I guess you didn't tell me that from last night. She's well. What was the name of the agreement the pilgrims made on Nole November 11th before leaving the ship? The deed, the agreement, the contract they made, what was it called? Key document in American history, we all need to know that, you know, Priscilla. Okay, Sister Pat. Maybe fly or come back. I know it's Iris. Sister Pat. All right. He meant Iris. We call her Priscilla a lot. We call Iris Priscilla. They look alike. I call her Iris. What were some of the dangers the pilgrims faced in America? What was the scary thing, Iris? Well. A big storm? Mm-hmm. Okay, that was one. What else? Yes, it is. What else was scary? Look down. Don't look at people. Look down and think. 
Miguel is trying to give her some hints. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Disease. audience. Huh? Disease. And Nan's. What? Oh, <laughs> he said disease. Oh, that's disease. That's, that's true. Okay, that's good. Right. <laughs> the savages, I mentioned that. Oh, <laughs> okay, uh, what else? Anything else? Famine. Famine. Okay. Um, There's another different one. Different waters and climate. Yeah. Climate. climate. The climate. Yeah. I saw something about lack of pizza. That's pretty scary too. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll give them, give them a dollar. <laughs> uh, That's <laughs> major for a college <laughs> student. Lack of it pizza. Is. All right. <laughs> okay. Who was who was their captain? That's it. No. Oh, that was the chief of the Indians. Yeah. The captain that fought the Indians. His name started with... Well, okay. Miles Standish. Miles Standish. Miles Standish. Who got it? He was uh, one of the strangers, remember? Not, not a pilgrim. He was a, a Christian man. Church of England. He was a moral government yeah. like us. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Not a Calvinist. About how many of them died the first winter? Oh. That's close, about half of them, yeah, it's about 50 or so. Uh, she counted my crosses and she said I had 56 up there. Okay, who was the first really friendly in them they met? The first one. Oh. He spoke broken English. Five seconds. Oh. Who? No. The yes, second one. one. Okay. Uh, Samoset. Samoset. All right, Sister Fred. <coughs> okay. <coughs> now, what did Squanto? Show to the pilgrims. How did Squanto help the pilgrims? By showing them how to plant food. Yeah, and specifically what crop? What kind of fruit? Corn. Corn, yes. Whoa. Okay, what else did he do in relation to Show them how to fish. Show them how to fish. Use the fish for their soil. Oh, yes, yeah. fertilizer. <laughs> okay. Why did communism fail? God's not a communist. Because <laughs> <laughs> if everyone thought that it was everybody's job, then no one wanted to do it. Right. Hmm. Okay. That's a good answer. Yeah. Sorry. Um, It's interesting how he argued it's in the nature of man. Oh, the communism is against the nature of man. Man wants to provide for himself and be self-sufficient. 